what's it like being back at UND? It's been really good. Uh, the reception for Nancy and me has been just kind of nice, um, comfortable, supportive, uh, and it's just, it's been kind of fun to be back on campus. It's amazing how when you get to, to sit in that chair, you settle in and went, everything that I've done to this point has converged to work here, but the comfort level that I have, that the, that the Experiences and background that I have, I think, can really come to bear at UND over this time we prepare for a new president. My goal is to um, steer the university through this time period until we get a new president. And my effort will be to, um, to create the direction of the university that will provide a launching pad for the new president so they can spend their time and resources and efforts with the university to go up and above and beyond. What the students are going to be interested in, of course, is, is how are the how are addressing these budget challenges that we have going to affect the students. And I've had some email, and by the way, I answer email to the students. <laughs> I've been through the budget cuts before on a statewide basis. It's not something that's fun, it's not easy, and it's not something you initiate. But you're for, when you're forced to do it, there's a way of doing it, of focusing on the priorities, so that when you're all done, you have a stronger and better institution. And we're gonna do that here at UND. And, and I, I hope that the students will learn that they're the first priority. So what's your strategy when you jump into a new position? You know, you've gotta listen to people as to What's going on out there? What are the, you know, what's working well? What isn't? What's happening? What isn't? And then, and then, figure out a way that you can incorporate that input into the direction and policy is set forth with. I mean, you really need to be out there. You need to be interactive, and you need to be listening to what's going on. I've heard you have a slip of paper with a quote on it. I do. It's a quote from uh, Thomas Aquinas and this is, probably won't be an exact quote. <laughs> we must love them both. Those whose opinion with which you agree and those whose opinion in which you don't agree. For both have labored in the search for truth and the finding of it. Everybody has input. Everybody, you know, whether you agree with somebody or not, their input is honest and learned and education and prayerful and that's what they believe and you have to, you know, that, that doesn't make them right or wrong or they agree with you or don't agree with you. It, you know, you need to incorporate that discussion so that you seek the truth, so you get to that right place. And that's something that's been a guide for mine for, you know, probably as long as I've had this desk.